my dear brothers and sisters. Today, I want to talk about something that weighs heavily on our hearts as believers. It's about the things that Allah, our most merciful and compassionate Creator, hates. Yes, hates. But before we delve into this, let us remember that Allah's mercy knows no bounds, and His love for us is infinite. However, as His beloved servants, it is crucial for us to understand what displeases Him. First and foremost, Allah hates arrogance. He despises the heart that swells with pride and looks down upon others. Remember, my dear ones, that every breath we take is by the grace of Allah alone, and none of us is superior to another except by our piety and good deeds. Secondly, Allah detests oppression. He is the ultimate justice, and He watches over every act of injustice, every tear shed by the oppressed. Let us never forget our duty to stand against oppression in all its forms and strive for justice, for that is the way of our beloved Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. Thirdly, Allah abhors dishonesty and deceit. He is the truth, and falsehood has no place in his sight. Let us be people of integrity, whose words and actions are in alignment with the truth, for honesty is the hallmark of a true believer. Fourthly, Allah hates ingratitude. He has blessed us with countless gifts, from the air we breathe to the food we eat, and it pains Him to see His blessings squandered or taken for granted. Let us be grateful servants, constantly mindful of His favors and always ready to express our gratitude through words and deeds. Fifthly, Allah despises injustice against women and children. He has elevated the status of women in Islam and bestowed upon them dignity and honor. Let us reject all forms of abuse and discrimination and strive to protect and uplift the vulnerable among us. Sixthly, Allah detests hypocrisy. He sees beyond our outward appearances and knows what lies in our hearts. Let us be sincere in our faith, striving to embody the values of Islam in every aspect of our lives, for hypocrisy only leads to spiritual ruin. And finally, Allah hates division and discord among His servants. He has enjoined upon us unity and brotherhood, and it grieves Him to see us divided by petty disputes and conflicts. Let us come together as one Ummah, bound by our love for Allah and His Messenger, and work hand in hand to build a better world for ourselves and future generations. My dear brothers and sisters, let these words penetrate deep into your hearts and souls. Let us shed tears of repentance for our shortcomings and strive to please Allah in all that we do. For in His mercy lies our salvation, and in His love, our ultimate redemption. May Allah guide us all on the straight path and grant us His mercy and forgiveness. <laughs>